tiny snowflake. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. Bit more with it today, in case you can't tell. Once again, it's gonna become a repetitive thing, you hearing this, but um, I've had quite a slow morning. So the plan was get up early, edit the vlogs, upload the vlogs, get on with beading, packaging, blah, blah, blah. What happened was, woke up early, started lady time, had horrendous lady time cramps, paracetamol didn't kick in for four hours, so I basically couldn't really do anything. I mean, I could have edited my vlog, but my lady time pains usually involve me feeling quite sick and unable to leave the bathroom. I feel much better now, in case you can't tell. You don't want to have seen me about two hours ago, because I've been editing this, podcast, this vlog for an hour, so you don't want to have seen me two hours ago. It would have been not fun, just me being very pale and very sweaty and in the bathroom, so be glad that I spared you of that, but I've since had a shower because the paracetamol finally are working, thank god for pain relief, um, but I managed to knit a bit on my hat this morning, um, I don't think it has a name yet, I might be wrong, I can ask Becky and put it in, but it's a really fun pattern. And kind of want to keep the hat for myself, but luckily I love Mario, so he can have it. Also means I can steal it sometimes. So the vlog is currently saving. I'm going to hold off on packaging orders and do that, get up early to do that tomorrow and get some beading done right now. So I think that's the logical way to do things in my head. Because Mario isn't starting as is he is an opening tomorrow, so he's starting a bit later, but um, he's still leaving at half past five, so I might try to get up around half past six-ish. But I won't make any promises, because I also know what I'm like. Um, today was fine though. That's a perfect excuse to not be able to get out of bed when you're in so much pain you don't know what to do with yourself. So, um, oh the joys of being female. But I think I'm just going to beat some snowmen think that's what the current plan is going to be. Yes. Um, I shared a picture on Instagram stories yesterday of a comment that I'd received on an old, one of my old tutorials. Um, and I received a lot of love from that. So thank you. I was having a very low self-esteem day. It now makes sense as to why I was having a low self-esteem day, but, um, yeah. The comments were much appreciated and a little bit needed. I was a bit pathetic yesterday. I've just edited the vlog and I like how the whole way through, I was like, a uh, uh, whole way through yesterday anyway, I was like, I'm not hungover, I'm really surprised, I'm not hungover, blah, blah, blah. And then, at the end, I was just like, well, I've spent the day on the sofa, not really doing much, because you know, I've been a little bit hungover. I'm just in denial. I'm just, I was just slightly hungover, very tired, but because I didn't have a horrendous headache and wasn't violently ill, I don't consider that a hangover, which is stupid. Because I definitely was. Um, I'm stupid. I'm ridiculous. Oh, in yesterday's advent calendar from Mario, I received a candle. Spiced clementine. Which is good because I've already almost got through the thing. I make myself a tea because I haven't had a tea yesterday because when you're feeling sick, you do not want tea. I mean, some people might. I did not want tea. I barely managed to drink water, so. <laughs> fine now you can stop worrying I feel fine now it just means that I've lost half a day more than half of the day because it's half as one so go me I'm brilliant at being an adult I think I'm gonna go for the tea that I got in yesterday's advent calendar that I ended up not having I mean I've got it in loose leaf form but sometimes tea bags are just easier you know beaded a tiny snowflake. Well, it's not that tiny, but it's pretty. The white beads are kind of pearlescent. This is basically the last Christmassy update I'm going to do for this year, so 
Need to get a rig on, cause the shop update's on Saturday. And now time is flying because I had period pains. Tiny snowflake. Tiny snowflake. Oh, I'm a vision of beauty today. Whatever. From my old university hoodie. Nottingham Trent University. But, um, I'm going to open my button red advent calendar for dating. I already know what's in it because I accidentally watched Bernard Blend's Instagram story. So that's really annoying. But also my own fault, so. Yep. So today is Mojiti. Um, cocktail vibes with citrus and mint. When the cold is setting in, let's go to the Caribbean. Great with a splash of rum. Oh, I got a rip in my packet. How annoying. These things happen. Uh, peppermint, Chinese green tea, lime leaves, lime peel, lemongrass. Good to know. Um, super refreshing blend of green tea, peppermint, and lime to be enjoyed in the sunshine. Made a cracking tea cocktail too. Well, considering it is um, cold and dark, I imagine this won't be enjoyed in the sunshine for many months, so I might just enjoy it out of the sunshine. But um, we're getting through it. We're getting through the advent calendars. I still need to have my ice cream matcha. I was gonna have it today, but I've run out of milk, so I can't make my matcha latte with it. Because Mario's got almond milk, but I'm not such a fan of nut milk. Mind out the gutter, team. Mind out the gutter. But we're getting through it. I don't want to ruin what's in it, but I kind of want to know at the same time. But I quite, I like the surprise. I'm enjoying the surprise. Right. I beaded some snowflake. I'm about, snowflakes. I'm about to bead some snowmen. I'm on a very much go slow today. But if I can make three different types of stitch markers, so that's nine in total, which is very slow for me. Um, then that's okay. But the good thing about making stitch markers is I don't have to pack it away or anything so I can just continue to make it through the night. Um, but I would also like to finish this hat which is definitely a thing I can do. But stitch make markers make, take priority because that's my job. I hope you still want stitch markers. That's all I'm going to say because I'm working out. But then next week I can, well I was going to say take a break, but I'm going to start dyeing up the Nitical Roll yarn clubs. So that's next week's job. Um, there's one left, one left. And it says it's on sock, but if you want it on DK, tell me and I'll switch it. But one left. Um, so head to the shop and get your mitts on that so you don't miss out. Very exciting. Okie dokie. Right, I'm going to get back to doing some more beading and drink my cold tea and maybe take some more paracetamol because my tummy is starting to hurt again. I feel very pathetic today. It's not my fault. If you thought yesterday's podcast was bad, you're going to be sorely disappointed by today's. That's okay. Hopefully I'll perk up once Mario's home. What time is it? 20 past four, okay. He'll be home in about 40 minutes or so. So, maybe I'll perk up when he's here. Oh, I'm not tired. I'm not even tired. I'm not, if, oh my goodness. I think I'm broken. I think this weekend broke me a little bit, but it's okay. Tomorrow, I'm going to the Malt Cross to do um, beer and carols, which is very exciting. So the Malt Cross is that place that I've filmed now several times. Um, but I'm going with one of my friends and maybe my sister and whoever else is coming along and we're going to do beer and carols And I won't be drinking beer. But I mil may definitely have a few mulled wines And I will be singing lots of carols, although my voice doesn't sound like it's fully there at the moment Potentially just because I haven't spoken much today If not then singing Descants tomorrow is going to be fun Right I'm gonna get back to doing some work and yes I got up, had a shower, and put on clean pajamas. 
I'm a grown up, I can do what I want. Look who's back! Where are you? Would you like to open your cheese advent calendar? It's the 10th. It is the 10th. Red Lester, fun fact! Add applewood to Christmas nibbles for a hint of smoky flavour. I don't know if that's a fact. I don't consider that a fun fact, that's more a serving suggestion. And what are Christmas nibbles? I know, what defines a Christmas nibble? I think pigs in blanket. I don't want cheese in a pig with a pig in blanket. Oh, I am excited for your pigs in blanket pizza, by the but way. Do you want hashtag pigs in blanket? Pigs in blanket. Are you going to add a pig in, pig in blanket? To what to the pigs in blanket pizza? Yeah. Ultimate pigs in ultimate blankets. Do other countries have pigs in blankets? Question. It's sausages wrapped in bacon. For those that don't know, the ultimate pig oh, fest. Oh, did I not open the knife? You opened it. Mm. Did you hear about the cheese that failed? It fell at the final curdle! Oh, that's really good. You sent that one to Mum. And no, you don't think you did open the ninth? Knife was yesterday. Knife was I don't I'm think you opened it. Days. Yeah. It's because you haven't been eating all your cheese snacks. And <gasps> what have you got today? I got a little mouse stamp. He's wearing a little jumper. I need to use these stamps on some orders when they go out. Little mouse stamp. I got some, oh, this is excellent washi tape. Christmassy washi tape with gingerbread men on. Ready for the washi tape. That's and, gingerbread. yeah. There's snowflakes. There's snowflakes, holly and gingerbread men. Holly and gingerbread men. The when they are both full grain. And another one of these chocolate snacks. I'm, I'm going to eat all too well. I'm tempted to eat my chocolate snack now because I've been wanting chocolate all day. She sure don't want to save it. Yeah, because we've got mince pies later. Although dinner's almost ready, so I won't arm all off. But yeah, that was Canio's rendition of Advent Calendar Fun Times. Those both kind of like Eda. It is kind of like Eda. This would have benefited from being in the fridge. Is it a bit soft? <laughs> well, after two days' time, you can put the other half in the fridge. I'm alright, but thank you for offering. Hi everyone, um, it's basically bedtime. Mary's gone to bed, I'm gonna get to bed at the same time because I'm also gonna, I'm playing The Sims on my phone. I should probably stop that and concentrate on what I'm saying. I just can't help it. Um, because I just, I need an early night tonight. But um, I promise that soon vlogs will stop being me looking like ass and complaining because that's not really fun to watch but it's been a really low energy day my reproductive system has been hating me quite a lot for some reason um probably because it got itself all ready to have a baby and then you know i didn't get pregnant and then that loud noise is the boiler because mary's just about to get in the shower um and now it's complaining that it just had to go through all that hard work just for me to completely disregard its feelings so I'm having a falling out with my reproductive system right now but I have made some of these snowmen so they're green and gold which are super cute um, I'm going to hopefully if I'm going to bed at this time uh, be able to fall asleep because that's usually the first hurdle I have to get over and then um, get up early that's the goal and package orders it's a good thing I didn't package all the orders though because I got a few more today so they can go in with that lot as well but um, I'm usually much more with it than I have been the past two days I mean you saw the first weeks of vlogs just today knocked it out of me a little bit for some reason um, even though I've experienced this for many years 18 years now once a month still knocks me out every time I didn't finish my hat but I have started the decrease repeats I haven't started decreasing them yet but I'm on the new chart which is very exciting 
such a cool hat. Um, and Mario finished one of his mittens. Um, I finished off the thumb for him because he got a bit fed up. Um, this is out of my really nice and soft posh knit crate yarn. It's the one that's got alpaca in it. It's non-superwash, so we need to write a little note to explain that this cannot be washed in a washing machine because it will felt. But it looks really good and it's super soft. I have another skein of this that I kind of want to make into something now for myself. Um, but yeah, I finished off the thumb for him. To this takes ages doing the cuff and he was getting really fed up but I um, finished off the thumb and then sewed in all his ends for him because I'm a nice girlfriend sometimes dinner was tasty I didn't completely mess up with preparing that that was good surprisingly easy putting leftovers in a bowl and then putting cheese on top which is essentially what happened but yeah we just chilled out watching Kirsty's Handmade Christmas I did some more beading had a mince pie Drinking my strawberry lemonade tea, um, which is really good. It's really fruity if you like a fruit tea. Um, I haven't had a fruit tea in a while. So that was a nice change. I think I need to get some more fruit teas. Because um, I'm, re I'm really enjoying this. In a Christmassy mug that mum got for me. Or I think she got on it for Mario and I to share. So I've got a different Christmassy mug. But mm. it's been good. It's been a nice chill that day. It's the joy of having a bead weaving week is that even though I did feel like shite, I could sit here and do some beading and not move and still be working. Because if I was dying out, I'd have to be like up and down and moving around and lifting heavy things and not really doing what I would want to be doing with my tummy hurting the way that it did. But, hmm. so enough of me complaining. I'll be back on top form tomorrow. I will even attempt to put makeup on. I tried a new shampoo today. You know what? I think it actually looks, has done my hair quite nicely. I mean, it's my hair's dried terribly, but it always does. Um, fun, it's funny because I spend so long making my makeup look good. And then I don't do anything to my hair. So my hair looks like nothing on earth. And then my face looks alright. It's weird and I feel like it doesn't match. That's okay. That's life. The plan for tomorrow is get up early, do lots of work, edit this. Because I'm going to bed now. Um, and then Mario and I are going to look around a house. Because we think we want to buy a house. Which is quite a bold step. Um, I personally don't think we can buy one till after April because I need to sort out my current tax year because I'm self-employed and they look at your last two tax years and my the last tax year I just did would have been okay but the one before that was when I was living in Germany and wasn't doing my job full-time and wasn't really earning much money at all so I'd prefer to wait till after April but we shall see um, so we're going to look around the house tomorrow anyway just because and then I'm meeting up with one of my friends that I used to work with at the bead shop. Um, we'll probably go get some food somewhere. And then we're going to the Malt Cross for beer and carols. And I will be obnoxiously singing quite loudly. Probably singing the death counts even though no one else does. Because I can't help it. Because I've been part of too many choirs. <laughs> You've been part of a church choir you can probably relate somewhat i can i sing the alto line and then i switch to death count for the last verse and i don't think i can sing the actual tune to the last verse because it's just so weird but yeah um i think that's everything i have to say i think i've taken up enough of your time you've had enough of looking at me looking like this but uh, thanks for all the positive feedback on the makeup tutorial that I did. I've got a few more comments on it saying that people have liked it and found it useful. So maybe I'll do another one um, a bit later on um, in Vlogmas. We, we, we shall see. Uh, and I do want to do another Christmassy bead weaving tutorial at some point for you all in Vlogmas. 
as a Christmas treat to you. Um, so I'll have a think about which pattern I want to share uh, with you. I'm thinking maybe the gingerbread house. We'll see. No promises. Right. Mary's just come out of the bathroom, so I'm going to go to bed. And I will speak to you all tomorrow. Bye.